Hello everyone, today I would like to talk about lashes and how to make them blush thicker, longer, fuller and create false lash effect. Right now uh, you can see that my lashes are already done. So this kind of effect I would like to share with you. I don't have anything on my lashes except my own. And uh, in this video, you probably will see some tricks and tips which you already know. But there is something else I do with my lashes when I apply the product or uh, preparing my lashes, which I probably never heard from other videos which I saw on YouTube. So I decided to create my own video and give you each step what I'm doing with my lashes to make them look much, much better and kind of false lash effect. I also would like to review some mascaras in this video to make some comparisons. So I'm going to talk about, first of all, the new mascara from Tarte. The name is Big Ego. So I will make a review on this mascara and compare it with some other mascaras. That's it, let's start it. Just a sip of coffee and we start. So first let's prep our skin and our eyes and then we will talk about the lashes, how to make them fuller. Tatcha on the eye. Okay, now when we prep our skin and our eyes with concealer, we move on to the lashes. And the first trick, which probably you already know, um, but maybe there is some small differences in the application of the pencil into the lash line. So you can apply on the inner rim of the lash line. Uh, it's very good to apply the pencil in between the lash line and also you can apply on just a little bit above of the lash line and please do not afraid to do that because anyway you will cover it with your eyeshadows. This is exactly why we are doing the pencil before applying the eyeshadows. So I will do that roughly, you can do that roughly, and it's very easy that you can do that roughly. This is the pencil I have from Urban Decay, Glide On Pencil. In color provision. This is really easily glide on pencil, but at the same time, Oops, this is not good. This is we don't need here. Okay. It glides on very easily. But at the same time, it might transform to your lower inner rim area. And this is I don't like. So, as you can see, you are going very rough, but you are trying to put the pencil in between of the lash line. Uh, 
And remember that if pencil goes to the lashes by itself, it may stick them. And at the moment you start applying mascara on the lashes, uh, you will not be able to separate them. So this is the point where you have to check if there is something on your lashes from the pencil. And just with this kind of brush, with the empty brush, just do like this so there is no any brush or uh, any pencil product on the lash roots. That's, this is very important. This is not the first time when I realized that I should do that in advance because actually it's transferable but at the same time it stick my lashes so hard and most of the pencils do that so when you apply in the pencil in this area so definitely you have to remove excess from your lashes okay what you can do you can smudge now i will take the pencil brush with the very sharp tip and just smudge it a little bit so you can take any smudge brush for these purposes it helps to dry the pencil quicker so you will not mix it with any other colors you will apply like with any eyeshadows you will apply after all And if you need to enhance some area, you can do that. And the same we do with another eye. Okay, here we go. Before we apply the eyeshadows, we put the pencil on our lash line and in between the lashes. Now I'm going to apply my eyeshadows. I'm going to make a simple uh, bright look because of the lips. So I'm not going to apply too much on my eyes. Just one eyeshadows and some shadowing. Okay, I applied shadowing on my crease line and now I'm gonna apply the eyeshadows. This is new eyeshadows from Tarte and I fell in love with this pot. This is very beautiful color, very unique. So it's kind of shimmer with multi-reflection in the shimmer by itself and at the same time it's a dual chrome. Okay, from this shimmering effect to the pink effect. Peachy pink effect, okay? So it's very beautiful on the eyes. I hope you will be able to see that. So I will apply it with my finger. I was applying it with the brush, with the finger, whatever, which is convenient for you. I'm gonna do it, of course, dry. I don't like apply eyeshadows wet. I'm going all over my lid. It doesn't have a glitter, you have to understand that as well. And I would like to apply this eyeshadow underneath as well. I will take flat brush, it's pretty big brush. Mm -hmm. 
so we are done with the eyeshadows okay i brought you a little bit closer to my eyes so you so you could see how we're gonna apply mascara there is a trick we're gonna coat mascara this is the first trick the second trick before you make the first coating you have to remove all excess and before we start coating we have to go to the roots of the lashes and apply mascara over there if you miss the step and you can miss the step to apply in the pencil you always have to apply mascara first to the roots to the skin with the lash line so it will give you a little bit this effect and if some shadows on your lashes you have to try to cover them with the mascara product so to do that it's very important that your brush from the mascara is not very big like for example this one i will give you the comparison this is camera lashes light camera lashes four in one mascara and this is big ego from tarte as well this is actually a new mascara and it has exactly the same shape like the mascara brush from Too Faced Better Than Sex. Everyone loves this mascara. And this one, you can see it's smaller and it's more thinner, bristles by itself shorter. So this is what we need to go to the roots of our lashes. This is another tip that you cannot have on the Better Than Sex mascara. Better Than Sex? Really? <laughs> I, uh, do you understand what I what are you talking about? Or it's uh, Better Than Sex? Is it about mascara? And Better Than Sex? You're comparing something to sex. Okay. Okay, and uh, this is probably the weird thing but at the same time it's something which um, marketing specialist I think uh, did a great job because a lot of people I think they uh, they hyped by the name of the mascara so it, at first place it's a great marketing job <laughs> but uh, on the second step when you buy when you're obsessed with this mascara you understand why is it better than sex or what is it so anyway everyone loved that mascara i personally so so about that mascara and right now i really realized that it's for me it's difficult to work with this huge and strange this guitar shape um and i really think that start made kind of a mistake following the same way as um, Too Faced and doing the same shape for their mascara I think they had such an amazing mascaras and product I will speak about one more mascara it's also from Tarte it's the name is Manitor and this is another trick but let's move slowly so first I'm gonna apply mascara and when you apply the mascara this is the second step you have to apply one eye then go to another and don't wait any longer you have to move for the second coat to the first eye and then to the second eye again after you applied here again not wait if you're going to apply the third coat and again to go to the first eye and then to the second eye right away this is very important because you have to let your mascara dry but not completely dry it has to be halfway dry this is the point when you still can separate your lashes when it's halfway dried but but at the same time it's accept a new product on them okay so this is very important this is how you build the thickness of your mascara and do not let them stick all together uh, the very important step when you start the first coating of your mascara you have to remove the excess of your product so what i'm doing i press the like you see it's bending so i press the brush and 
at the same way, I'm removing the product. There is no product, there is a lot of product. So I will start applying the mascara with the side where there is no mascara at all. And this is how you keep your lashes fluffy. So let's start. And at the first coat, you have to understand, you also build your length. So when you build a little bit your length, like this, you will not be able to build your length later on. So I'm doing kind of motions and now I'm going with the a big amount of product which on another side to my roots. And just holding a little bit there. Okay? And then I turn around and just make them fluffy a little bit. And I'm holding like a little bit hold. You let your lashes a little bit dry and leave them. Okay? This is how you curl your lashes. So at first step, you build the length, you go to the roots, keep a big amount of products to your roots, and then you curl your lashes as well at first stage. Now you can see the difference. This is my lashes, and this is without mascara. Okay? I was trying to show you, hope you could see that. Okay, this is the first coat. If at the first stage you accidentally applied a lot of products, you have to have this brush to remove the excess from the first coat. I'm expecting some fallouts, uh, so I will apply a little bit all the so I could easily remove the axis, okay? So this side is done and I cannot wait longer. It's too long, I'm waiting too long. I will apply another mascara from Tarte Big Echo, which is probably very similar to the brush is very similar to Too Faced. Okay, so... I cannot be very close to the roots because otherwise I'm touching my eye. But at the first coat I removed the axis of the product from one side. So if I'm going too close with this particular brush to my eyes, I'm touching my eye and I'm touching the area which, where I already applied mascara. So it's not what you need. I'm curling it. You can see how I'm curling. If you don't like this curling machine, uh, which I don't like, I might use it like once a year if I really need that one. But for everyday use, I feel like I do something wrong to my la lashes. And sometimes when I press it, some lashes remain on this machine. And uh, oh my God, wow. Okay. So 
you can see definitely there is a lot of products then on this one i will try to remove access because the second coat it might just stick them it makes a great job to longer your lashes definitely it's a good mascara i can see it's already it's even fresh because sometimes when the mascara is fresh it doesn't give you the great effect which it might give you later when it's dry a little bit but it's definitely a different product um, than the camera light camera and lashes for in one mascara it's different product definitely it's more kind of product which gives you length it gives you less volume thickness to the lashes i can build easily with the light camera lashes product then i can build it with big ego if you can see that hopefully you can see they look thinner than this one even from the first coat so okay i am going with the second coat and again you have to remove excess from one side don't afraid of that one because the excess will make your lashes stick this mascara light camera lashes it makes it gives you fluffy effect better than the big ego definitely and i am always for fluffy and thicker lashes Again, I just for the couple second, I'm holding curling my lashes. Because you let products dry when you're holding them, bending them. And it gives this curling effect. So this is the second top. I really feel that's enough. Okay, I'm going with the big egg with the second coat. And also I remove the product from one side, even it doesn't give me a lot of products right now. It's, uh... <sighs> this is my Natasha Denona. Thanks God. Everything is good with her. It's such a pleasure when... It's such a pleasure, really. <laughs> okay. Okay, we are safe. Okay, I removed the axis from the brush from one side. And I'm going with the second coat. Because of the different length of bristles, it uh, um, it doesn't give you the even application of the product actually. Because the shorter bristles you have, the better touch of the products okay the shorter bristles of the bra on the brush you have so there is a lot of products inside of the brush if you're going for example to the roots so you have a direct you have a direct connections between the product and your skin or the root lashes or the lashes root 
uh, with the longer bristles like on this brush or at some part it's longer at some it's shorter it gives you that at some point it doesn't have enough product to touch your certain area where you would like to have and at some areas at the same time it has more product to touch this particular area so at some areas you have more product at some areas you have less of course it doesn't affect too much when you because you're not applying just at one position you're moving it around anyway and it gives you the normal effect but the idea of this shape is just you apply just in one position and it gives you everywhere the product like this is the, the the main idea of this brush that you don't need to move around a lot and it gives you normal application but no it doesn't it's impossible physically it's impossible so what I can see, um, definitely I have a better result with light camera lashes mascara than with big ego. Can you see? I am happy with this one. It's thicky, it's fluffy, it's um, it's the same length. I don't have any complaint about that, but it's definitely thick. Now I would like to talk about the Manitou Mascara. It's one of my favorite mascaras. And um, uh, this mascara is really good for the touch up or it, not just for touch up, just the main mascara and for touch up. This mascara is not acceptable for the touch up because it has this particular brush shape. And uh, this mascara, it has amazing uh, plastic bristle with the plastic bristles the most valuable for this brush it's on the Tarte website it says that this brush has 500 bristles they are very short and there are a lot of them so you can comb your lashes applying the product um, according to my experience these two mascaras has exactly the same product i have a mini size tartiest lash paint mascara it has also i think these three mascaras has the same product but they have different type of applicator this applicator it has it also has plastic bristles it's a lot of them but the huge difference between these two mascaras is the length of the bristles and a number of them there is just a bunch of them there is less of them definitely and they are longer and they are sharper um, sometimes when the bristles are longer what we were just talking about you cannot go to to your roots and the roots are very important to make your lashes look great. So it's also great for the touch up. It can comb your lashes even better than this one. But at the same time, it might hurt you a little bit. It scratches, it's sharp, and it might cause watery in your eyes. So. I personally don't like this kind of applicators. I don't like plastic applicators at all until I tried this one. The same applicator has actually, uh, or very similar to this applicator, Chanel mascara. It's also they have. It's also have a round cylinder. Uh, they have two type. The a square one and the round one um, I I cannot say anything about the square one but about the round one it's just amazing product inside of the tube it's uh, applicator something like this it gives you fluffy like plush effects it's amazing it's I can compare it with this one it's almost the same but this almost twice cheaper 
this is the difference only um this is actually we can talk as long as i showed you the tube it's uh, from gucci i don't like this mascara at all i don't like this is a plastic applicator which also very long bristles it's not huge it's not like big ego or too faced mascara uh the product is a shit sorry it doesn't give me anything at all anyway so and this mascara it you can go very close to your roots it gives you the same volume it gives you the same plush effect as this mascara and for the touch up even better than this one because it might comb your lashes this mascara it cannot comb the first time you apply it you will never fix your lashes at all so if you went with the excess of this product you have to have this kind of brush kind of comb for your lashes it's very cheap you can find on amazon or anywhere it's it's very cheap product um, usually who uh, make the lash extension they have a bunch of this product uh, a bunch of these brushes or combs uh, lash combs i don't know how to pronounce it uh, how to say this uh, and usually when you make the extension they give you as extra because you always have to comb your false lashes extension okay so this is about mascara um just to demonstrate this mascara i would like to go this mascara as a third coat to my lashes let's do that i forgot to apply my lips and my full face okay so i removed also the product from one side okay and i'm going as a third coat I have tried already to go with this mascara on these lashes I cannot uh, because I don't know something is inside of this uh, big ego mascara which doesn't allow me to combine those mascaras with this mascara it's it, it remind me more gel so I'm going with the third coat as well I don't know what happened with my voice Even my lashes are dry. you can get a very good result with big ego definitely so i probably like two coats was almost enough i went a little bit extra with manager but i'm very happy with these two products it's just amazing and big ego definitely it's a good mascara but not good as Light camera lashes and manager. I'm not sure how to pronounce that one. Okay, so I finished my face. I will show you the final look. I have to remove my. Lisa Eldridge in velvet dress. I don't like this product to be very dark on my lips, that's why I'm going just in the center of my lips and then making a shape. Lips and now I want coffee. You need 
coffee before you have my lips. Don't forget. I, I think this color is such a great complement shade to the eyeshadows. Uh, and this look I've been inspired with uh, Lisa Eldridge by herself. I saw her video where she was wearing such a dark, like, I don't know, this color, maybe even darker purple, and this is more pinkish side, maybe more purple, dark lips, and with this kind of shade, which is um, radiant with dual chrome or something like water on the eyes. It's such a beautiful look. I decided that I might go with something else, and I'm very happy that I found this tart eyeshadows because they have this effect and this pink peachy color it's kind of uh, the same color of the lips but the lips are much darker of the same color so i think they have a great match all together let me know if you think a different way so i made kind of stain of this lipstick so it's not a full coverage i would say the full gives you even deeper tone I love it this way because I think it suits me more than the deeper tone. And um, yeah, here is my final look. And hop, ah, here you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. And um, my tricks and tips were kind of upgrade to maybe you knew it before. Or maybe some very useful information you found in this video. If you like this video, give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, click this ring bell button below to be notified every time I post a new video. See you. Bye-bye.